Hey, what's up guys? It is Chris Chavez here with Fandroid. Um, okay, so the new market was just announced uh, like a few hours ago. I think uh, it was Quentin or Kevin that wrote the story on it. But um, it just showed off a bunch of cool new features and stuff and a whole new UI for the Android market. And uh, it was actually leaked onto the internet and I actually got it from a friend who got it from someone else who knows some people, who robs some people. And um, I installed it and it's working perfectly fine and awesome on my Evo 3D. So we're going to take a look at it and just kind of check it out. Uh, some people are calling the UI, I guess, more of like the Metro UI that's on Windows Phone 7 and stuff. So some people don't like it. They're saying it's cluttered and stuff, but um, I don't know. Like every time the market changes, even from the last one, people were complaining on that one. And it's there's just, you know, you get used to things and people fear change, I feel like. But um, here you can see the featured apps on the top. You have apps, games, books, movies here on the side. Uh, and what are these? Riding Hood? Oh, these are movies, I think. The Hunger... No, those are books. Books? Yeah, those are books. And yeah, I mean, I guess it is kind of jumbled up and crazy, but... You know, that's that's just kind of the appeal with it, I think. I don't know. I like the look. I like the look a lot, and I think it's um, very schnazzy. I wonder if this is uh, maybe a preview of what will uh, bring an ice cream sandwich. I'm not really sure. But um, if we go to apps, um, they have the little tabs here at the top. Oopsie. Um, well, I guess we can check this out while we're there. Um, shop kick. And then you can um, see the previews here at the top and check out the app with a bunch of different screenshots. You have your descriptions. Everything's more separated now, not as hard to see. Um, it kind of sucked before because I didn't even know you could share apps. And it, I just it got lost. All It was all jumbled and ugly on the old one. And I didn't even know you could share apps and send people the links and stuff from the market app. But um, that's what an app looks like when you view it. Let's go back. And uh, you have games, staff picks, and a couple of features in between, a bunch of stuff. And it is kind of like busy and crazy, but that's actually the way I like uh, my UI to look. I love it when things are all jumbled together and busy. I don't really like the minimal look. But um, the tabs you can get to just by scrolling. Um, pretty smooth and nice. And you have all the categories there, the featured ones here. Uh, top page, shows all the top paid apps. Top free. Top grossing, which is kind of neat to see. Uh, top new paid. Moving on, <clears throat> top new free, trending, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things about the new market, and you have games, books, and etc., uh, is the fact that it links to the movies app. So once you click the movies, it opens up the movies app that you have to download from the market as well. Um, and then you can rent movies, top rentals, new releases and stuff, um, and you can view them on your phone. And I think uh, once you pay for it, you have 30 days to view the movie. Once you start playing the movie, you have 24 hours to fully watch that movie uh, before it expires. So it's kind of cool. The prices aren't too bad. Um, seeing how the new Netflix prices kind of went up. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I am going to show you guys. Oh, let's go back here. Um, <clears throat> with the new market, you actually have access to, if I go to accounts, uh, different accounts. So I am going to go to our Fandroid review account and this is our official, um, yes I accept, um, our official Fandroid account here and from here I can actually, let's see, I'm going to charge a movie onto on Fandroid's tab because just because. Vacation, what are the new movies? Top rentals, categories, let's go to, do they have anime? I wonder if they have anime or Japanese Squid Girls. I heard that was a good one. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, I'm so tempted, but I've already seen it. Uh, new releases. Let's go to new releases. There's a bunch of movies that I got, you got served. Sucker Punch. Tons of stuff that I haven't seen yet. Oh, Dead Space. Um, I am just going to rent. Just go with it? No. Maybe. I don't want to take up too much time here. Hall Pass. Let's just do Hall Pass. Because it's funny. Um, and then I can hopefully use the HDMI out to display it on my TV and watch it on my TV. So we're going to try that out a little bit later. Rent. Um, yeah, I'll accept it. F yeah, Fandroid will accept it. Okay, so there it is. Authorizing payment. And we're going to try to view a movie really quick. Hopefully it all goes through perfectly. Yes. My rentals. This, um, this is all new to me, so I haven't done this before. Ooh, uh, Fables at Birth. That does not look like a fun movie. I guess they give you one free rental and it looks like something incredibly boring. 
Would you like to begin playback? Your rental expired 24 hours after you start watching it. Okay, do it. Just do it. Just do it already. <laughs> awesome. There it is. So, quality. Looking pretty hot. <clears throat> see, can I fast forward? Let's just see if I can jump to something. Looks like it's buffering a lot. Here we go. Oh, sick. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. So, definitely user friendly, very easy to use. Um, even for a noob like me, this is actually my first time using it and just kind of running through it. But um, there you guys go. This is the new preview, I guess. For those of you that are too too scared, I guess, or paranoid, or just cautious, I, I guess, um, to install the new leaked version of the market. Uh, but this will be rolling out in the coming weeks, so you can expect this on your phone in the very near future. I am Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.